Hi, I'm Brian Trani. I'm here at Sarah's headquarters in Madison, Wisconsin. If you're experiencing dropouts in your trainer that was previously working just fine, there's a couple of things that you should be aware of. First of all, if the trainer has been working fine and you're using a Bluetooth device to connect it to a training app, check the training app and make sure that it's up to date. Very often apps will update and if it's a small update, it may have caused a problem with connection that is being addressed on their end. So check troubleshooting on the app side. Secondly, you can check with your phone to make sure that you're not accidentally connected to another app. Some things that happen quite often is if you're switching between training apps, it may still be paired to one app when you're trying to connect to another app. And the trainer, when paired to a Bluetooth device, can only be paired once. Pairing to Ant using a dongle and a laptop, you can pair to multiple devices and that won't happen quite as much. But for Bluetooth devices, here's a couple quick things you can try. First of all, use the same device that you've been training on. Close out all the other devices on your app. Make sure everything is shut down. There's nothing connected to the trainer. Then go to the Saris app. If you don't already have it installed on your device, you can get it from the Apple Store or from Google Play. It's available for both Apple and Android devices. Check the firmware on your trainer. Once you have the app open, check for an update. The app will scan for a trainer. You'll know you're connected to the app and your, your device when the light on the trainer turns solid blue. When it turns solid blue, that means you are connected and a device is controlling the trainer. So you can check to see if there's update. I'm all up to date, so that's good. Another thing you can check, go to the calibration page, top of the app. The calibration's pretty simple. You probably should have been doing this regularly, especially if you have an M2 or a wheel on trainer. Doing roll downs is very important while you're training. So connect to the app, follow the instructions that are on the screen. What you'll be doing is simply spinning up the trainer to 18 to 20 miles an hour. So while you're doing this, essentially all you're doing is checking the friction and rolling resistance between the trainer, the tire, if you have a wheel on trainer, or anything else that's uh, in the system to make sure that everything's calibrated just like it was when we left the factory. So I'm gonna get it up to 20 miles an hour here. There we go. The app will count you down, tell you how much longer you have to pedal, and then it's gonna tell me to coast after 20 seconds of pedaling between 18 and 20 miles an hour. There it goes. That's our cue to coast. Follow the instructions on the screen. There we go. Calibration successful. So now we know the trainer's calibrated. It stayed connected to the device the entire time. If you're still concerned that there might be some other issues causing connectivity, there's one more thing you should do. So once you've successfully calibrated, go back to the beginning of the app and try an erg mode ride. It's a simple just check to make sure that everything is connected well and still pairing properly. So again, you're just in the Saris app. When you go into the erg mode, it'll pair to your trainer again. And then once I'm in there, I can select target wattage. So I just selected 100 watts and I can stay connected. And as I'm riding, I'll look, make sure that the light stays solid blue. Solid blue on the trainer means it's paired to a Bluetooth device and that device is controlling the trainer. You can pedal along and, you know, get your work done while you're doing this, or simply get off the bike, walk away, and just keep an eye on that light. Make sure that it stays connected. If everything stays connected, even while the bike is sitting on the trainer and it's not being ridden, you know that the connection is stable, then you can eliminate the trainer from the problem. So now it's time to chase the source down, possibly other interference in the room, 
Wi-Fi signals sometimes cause Bluetooth interference, or possibly it's an issue with the trainer app, and you need to contact that developer. Hopefully this video helped you out. Contact customer service if you have any more questions.